Sherburne Democrat Jermaine Bagnell Graham is running for the Senate seat currently held by Senator Jim Seward. And uh, Jermaine is on the line right now. Uh, good morning, sir. Thanks for coming on the radio. Hey, good morning. Thank you for having me. So you're a Binghamton uh, University grad, master's degree in public administration, um, and SUNY Oneana with a Bachelor of Science degree. You work at Bassett. And what uh, what what makes you uh, want to be a New York State Senator? Uh, um, my wife asks me that all the time, but uh, <laughs> uh, seriously, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I, I don't like the way the uh, where we're headed right now, um, especially with all the corruption and going on, and and no one's taking action, especially um, Seward. Um, I feel like. Uh, Someone has to do something. Instead of me complaining about how things are going, I need to take action. Yeah. And the best way to do that is to, to run for office. Uh, yeah, specifically, where is uh, Senator Seward going wrong in your eyes? Well, he's, he's been there, what, 29, 30 years, and he's not using that longevity, that, that, uh, that time that he's built up to be a leader in New York State Senate. Um, he's not... You know, corruption isn't new, and it's, it needs to be addressed. We have 96% of New Yorkers saying corruption is a problem, and he's not using his, uh, his, his political clout to pass true ethics reform. Yeah, they, they passed this watered-down version, but he's not really closing um, the LLC loophole or, you know, proposing um, a cap on outside income. He's overseeing uh, the, the insurance committee, and uh, so that he's taking all of this special interest money that's leading to corruption. Um, he's party-line voter as far as uh, what, whatever Flanagan wants. That's what he's going with. Instead of working across the aisle to, to pass better uh, legislation, you know, mm -hmm. we just had this, uh, um, the... the uh, Gary Greenberg, he's trying to pass legislation to uh, have child victims be able to um, face their... Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's... Uh, uh, right, this, is, uh, this was the story of the, uh, the, the, uh, the victims would have the opportunity, it would, it would lengthen the statute of limitations, right? Uh, right. That, and, uh, you know, yeah. I know Seward didn't vote on that specifically, but he should be driving his caucus to... to Really look out for the uh, the children, yeah. the victims. It would give it would give the victims after the age of eighteen. Um, I think uh, there was one bill that would give them unlimited time to come forward. Once they come forward, the clock would then begin ticking. And it's based on the fact uh, that a lot of these, you know, the priests, uh, Boy Scout type uh, uh, molestations, uh, a lot of times guys, especially harbor that and they and they don't come forward until years later after the statute of limitations have expired so you feel that he exactly. should that he should take the lead on something like that he should take the lead on that you know he should be uh looking at the victims and not the party yeah what about uh, where do you stand jermaine bagnall graham where do you stand on uh, on the second amendment gun control and uh, and guns in particular um where do I stand on the Second Amendment? I stand, uh, you know, I believe in, in uh, your rights to own and uh, bear arms. I, I believe in that right. You know, I live in central New York. Uh, there are hunters. There are people who own guns legally. Um, I do believe in stricter gun laws, though, to where we're taking the guns away from or keeping the guns out of the hands of the people who shouldn't have them. Um, you know, the, we, we, we have to have tougher background checks. We have to have tougher regulations. Uh, you know, we... We're lacking in the mental health area, so it's it's so easier for people. It's easy for people to buy guns online and and uh, through back doors. There's a lot of loopholes there, so yeah. we, we really should tighten those up. Are you? Uh, what was your take on uh, the New York Safe Act? You for it? Against it? The New York Safe Act? Yes, sir. Um, I'm. I'm for it, but I do think it was a, a knee-jerk reaction, and I think, um, but I, I understand where it was coming from, so um, I don't have a problem with that. Um, I do have a problem with uh, it not, it should have been crafted uh, better, but 
you know, I think it's it, are, are it's your, been being improved upon. <laughs> are, are your issues? What, what are your issues with it? My issues with the uh, gun control. With the, the I'm sorry, with the New York Safe the, Act, sir. Yeah, those those are the issues that I have. Those uh, those loopholes that they didn't close. Um, um, they didn't address those issues. So you feel um, like just, it didn't go far enough? I don't think it did. Interesting. Uh, uh, okay, what about the? Do you think we're safer because uh, it put a limit on the number of uh, the number of bullets in a cartridge? Um, it made those quote unquote uh, guns that look like they're military grade weapons. Uh, it made them illegal. Um, do you do you uh, are you are we safer because of that? Do you think? And are you for that? Those elements of the Safe Act. I'd have to see the statistics to be honest with you. I I, I don't know what uh, statistics are out there to say that we're safer. I know there there could be arguments on both sides. Um, as far as military style weapons, I, I don't think we should be selling any type of military style weapons out um, um, for for casual use, um, assault rifles or um, so like the, um, yeah, anything yeah, yeah. military grade. As far as the uh, magazines. I don't think that's going to really make a difference. Okay. Uh, but as far as these guns, you know, in a lot of cases, these guns, like the AR-15 type, um, are made to look like they're military grade, but they're really no different than a regular shotgun. They're semi-automatic weapons. And so you feel those that look like military weapons should be banned? No. No. Okay. No. No, I think there's a, a big distinction between uh, an AR whatever versus a uh, a, a semi-automatic. There's okay. a big difference between the many two. Would, many, many would say here in Upstate that the SAFE Act is, is reaching too far. Um, but and, and, you know, you have to understand this part of the district uh, with Remington Arms right in our backyard and many, many hunters is, uh, is pretty uh, a pretty emotional topic for people around here. Hey, and I don't, I'm not understanding with taking guns away from anyone. Um, I want to make that clear. I'm not looking to take guns away from the hunters or close down Remington Arms. That's not my stance. Um, I mean, the Remington Arms, they're making, they're making weapons just like any other um, you know, business would make a product. And as long as they're not doing anything illegal, why, why mess with them? Um, where so, do you where where do you stand on the governor and uh, where do you stand on the governor, uh, Governor Cuomo? What are your thoughts? I think uh, I think Governor Cuomo, as long as he's supporting Democrats, um, I think he I think he'll be okay in that regard. I don't like the fact that everything is being privatized in New York State. I don't agree with everything that Governor Cuomo is doing, um, especially with. Um, with contracts um, that he's given out to throughout the state, I think there should be more oversight there. Um, um, as far as his uh, performance, um, I don't really have a problem with his performance. Right. Uh, where do you stand on uh, on Common Core and uh, what the governor's done with education? Teacher uh, well, testing. There's and... another area <laughs> yeah. I don't agree with the governor on um, is the way he uh, went after the education um, the educational system. Okay. I don't I don't agree with um, his stance on um, taking over schools and, and putting them in receivership. I don't agree with um, his battle with the unions. I don't agree with uh, the way he's linking Common Core and, and testing standards to performance evaluations, uh, I think uh, there has to be some type of evaluation system, um, but I think the school should have more uh, say in how that's seen or how that's done yeah. instead of the government um, do, uh, going in and, and taking over that aspect of evaluating. Right. And I also don't agree with, um, with um, tax breaks for for charter schools, I, I think we should be putting more money into the uh, public uh, public system and, and less into the charter school. Okay, all right. We're talking with uh, Jermaine Bagnell Graham. He is a candidate for the state senate seat, currently being held by Senator Jim Seward. Uh, Seward, of course, is a Republican and uh, is actively uh, seeking re-election. Manaski. 
Um, can you uh, talk about uh, some other issues? I know it's a it's a rather large district. What are some other issues that have prompted you to run? I know you talked about corruption, Common Core, and we got your thoughts on the Safe Act. Are there other issues that are important to you? I mean, other issues. Uh, there's a lot of issues. There's um, you know there's the fact that, and I know Seward just pushed for. Uh, um, re- mandate relief, um, but that should have happened a long time ago. Um, it shouldn't be a 12th hour thing where Seward is trying to get reelected um, to push that kind of um, stuff through. This should be, we shouldn't be talking about this. This should have been put in action. Seward uh, goes around the uh, the district and he drops off money, but he he doesn't really connect with the voters um you know i hear he's a nice guy i've never met him personally but and i'm not questioning his uh his niceness it's just that um there are issues like that um where we could be taking a a bigger stance on i know he's um fighting the opioid issue but i don't think he's really taking a, a real approach to it because of his position on the insurance committee um, there's a huge conflict there. We should be looking at more uh, mental health facilities instead of, you know, um, making this all about yeah. inpatient or or outpatient, um, um, uh, an outpatient problem. So I think those are issues that we could be looking at um, that he's not really stepping up on. Uh, can you talk about your uh, your military service? You are an Army veteran, right? I am. I have almost six years in the Army. Uh, get out. Honorably discharged. Uh, my knee forced me out. Okay. And uh, are you facing? You're facing a primary coming up here, right? I am not. You are not. Uh, okay. No primary. Um, my, I, I was facing a primary at one point, but Audrey, uh, uh, Audrey the Dunning, person did yeah. not. Yes, yeah. Audrey Dunning. Um, she did not make the ballot. Got it. All right. So Jermaine, it's uh, in November. It is. Uh, it would be you and Senator Seward. And j- just the last thing, Jermaine. What What do you currently do? I, I was still working IT um, at you, the hospital. Um, I actually headed to work now. Um, what hospital is that? Bassett. Oh, it's, Bassett. It's, yeah, yeah. Bassett. Correct. Yeah. All right, Jermaine Bagnell okay. Graham. We thank you so much for your time and good luck, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right, thank you, Bill. Thanks okay. for having me on. All right, thanks so much.